You cannot teach a man anything, you can only help him find it within himself. The sun, with all those planets revolving around it and dependent on it, can still ripen a bunch of grapes as if it had nothing else in the universe to do. There are those who reason well, but they are greatly outnumbered by those who reason badly. Measure what can be measured, and make measurable what cannot be measured. With regard to matters requiring thought, the less people know and understand about them, the more positively they attempt to argue concerning them. See now the power of truth, the same experiment which at first glance seemed to show one thing, when more carefully examined, assures us of the contrary. In the sciences, the authority of thousands of opinions is not worth as much as one tiny spark of reason in an individual man. They seem to forget that the increase of known truth stimulates the investigation, establishment and growth of the arts, not their demination or destruction. In time you may discover everything that can be discovered, and still your progress will only be progress away from humanity. The distance between you and them can one day become so great that your joyous cry over some new gain could be answered by an universal shriek of horror. And, believe me, if I were again beginning my studies, I should follow the advice of Plato and start with mathematics. T. He increase of known truth stimulates the investigation, establishment and growth of the arts. Who indeed will set bounds to human ingenuity? Who will assert that everything in the universe capable of being perceived is already discovered and known? I think that in the discussion of natural problems we ought to begin not with the scriptures, but with experiments and demonstrations. Mathematics is the language with which God has written the universe. To me, a great ineptitude exists on the part of those who would have it that God made the universe more in proportion to the small capacity of their reason than to his immense, his infinite, power. The greatness and the glory of God shine forth marvelously in all his works, and is to be read above all in the open book of the heavens. Where the senses fail us, reason must step in. I think that tastes, odors, colors, and so on, reside in consciousness. Hence if the living creature were removed, all these qualities would be wiped away and annihilated. The fear of infinity is a form of myopia that destroys the possibility of seeing the actual infinite, even though it in its highest form has created and sustains us. All truths are easy to understand once you find them, the point is to discover them.